Today a gentleman brought in this Dell computer monitor and asked me if I could repair it for him. His complaint was that the TV would come on for one second and then immediately shut down. Now shutdown problems are real common in these LCD TVs. And the reason it shut down in this case was because it sensed something wrong in the driver board that drives these cold cathode fluorescent lights. Believe it or not, what I'm holding in my hand here is a very thin fluorescent light. This is the kind of fluorescent light they use to light the backlight in these LCD TVs. Unless you've got one of the more modern ones that actually has LEDs uh, powering the backlight. But because you, you can't always tell that the backlight's working on a set like this because the screen has a crystal arrangement in front of it that is opaque. In other words, you can't see through it. So you won't really know if the backlight is on. So what I did was I, I plugged in my own fluorescent lights and I, I arranged them so you can see them come on when I plug this thing in. Now, I always like to take an audio generator. This is just a small amplifier here and take an inductive pickup coil and put it next to the power supply board when I turn these things on because I like to hear the power supply board actually working. I'm going to plug this in and we'll see what happens. Now if you notice only one of these lights is coming on. So basically that tells me that my problem is related to the fact that the uh, either the output transformer or the transistors driving the output transformer have a problem. So if you, if you have an old computer monitor that you're just going to salvage, save these lights so that you can use them at a later date. They're, a lot of these plugs are pretty universal. You see the same plugs on a lot of these different monitors and uh, you can just unplug the, the backlights that normally has hooked up to the uh, power supply and plug in your own external lights and that'll tell you what's going on. The uh, driver board that, that drives the lights, it looks something like this. This is actually out of a different TV but I just wanted to bring it out here for the video. In this case this board here contained transistors that drove these transformers and it went bad and it, it's just not worth repairing. So Anyway, it's a good experience if you're not familiar with this sort of problem. It's real common to see the uh, TVs go into shutdown because they sense a problem on the output side with the cold cathode fluorescent tubes not lighting up. Well, I decided to take this job I was about to throw the towel in on and uh, take it to the next level. The customer didn't want it repaired, but uh, I'll repair it anyways just for myself or somebody else that can use it. Um, I had plugged into this side here and determined that there was no uh, power coming out to drive my fluorescent lights. So what I did was I figured out which transformers these are attached to, and that's these two right here. And then I had to look for the primary side of these transformers. In this case, it was this transistor that I, I just pulled this out, actually, because it was burnt out. So I found a bad transistor, and if I'm lucky, trans, uh, replacing the transistor will fix it. Uh, the other possible problem is that if I'm not lucky, I may have a shorted transformer here, in which case I can put in a brand new transistor, and as soon as I fire it up, it's going to make it shut down again, and of course wreck my brand new transistor. Surprisingly, there were, there were no fuses blown. Now I bought this handy little coil tester here, and this actually is a nice little piece of test equipment. What it does is it tells you if your coil is shorted or not. Now, you can't expect it to always reveal if your coil is shorted. There'll be some cases where you get a false reading, but the way it works is if you get a good coil, or the better the coil, the more of these LEDs light up on this thing. And in this case, what I did was I compared this side to the other side, and there was really no difference. In other words, I compared this transformer that I'm checking now to the other transformer that I know is good, and it, it looked like it would be okay. So I'm going to hope for the best. I'm going to buy the transistor and... Uh, when it gets here, in my next order, I'll put it in and see if it works.